Hey crew, man I feel like we're just beating up on this ogre lately and what that took us like two grenades and three melees in a matter of seconds and he is gone? That's the power of this build because that beefy boy normally takes three Galahorn shots to take down and it's pretty dang powerful. And we still have unlimited abilities here for all the other little ads. In a second here I'm going to show you the master 1590 dungeon and what we do in there to those bell keepers and how we control them and it's just great. I really believe this is the best, and I mean the best, all around build for the Hunter this season in any content that you're doing. I already made one build revolving around this, but with some changes and the new fragments, we turned it into a monster to be reckoned with here. We have unlimited abilities and abilities that put out significant damage, as you can see, and we are in the 1590 Master Dungeon here, so these Bell Keepers are tanky and have void shields, but it really doesn't matter here. I was on Bell Duty and my clanmates were grabbing flags, and this build made it a walk in the park. So we have unlimited abilities, the tankiest the Hunter has ever been, and the updated Blade Barrage for great burst damage, and we get it back pretty dang fast. What more could you ask for in one single build for the Hunter? Make sure to pay attention to the gameplay and the loop of our abilities because that's what really makes this build go. It's basically grenade, then melee, then grenade, then dodge. And that's kind of the normal rotation. Or you can go grenade, then melee, and you'll have your next grenade available. So if your next target is inside and you can see them, then it's grenade. If not, it's dodge. And the dodge is kind of the reset button here. That's the best way I can explain it and once you try it you will see the loop working and understand what ability needs to be hit next in order to keep it going smoothly and properly. Thank you to all the members of the YouTube channel, you guys are amazing and I can't thank you enough to choosing to help support me, Extra, and my dream of full time on YouTube so thank you. For those of you that would like to join just hit the join button on the YouTube channel or click the link in the pinned comment and you will get access to some awesome perks like the members only discord and I answer all kind of questions in there. So in the back of your mind, just keep the gameplay loop, right? Focus on keeping that gameplay loop in your mind as I'm going through these aspects and fragments because it's so important. Okay, so let's go over the Solar 3.0 subclass here and make sure to set this up exactly how I have it. There's one interchangeable fragment that I'll show you guys, but other than that, keep the rest the same because that's how we loop our abilities so fast and get our dodge back so fast, which then feeds into the knives and feed those knives feed into the grenade as I went over in the gameplay loop. So if you don't set this up properly, it's not going to work properly. So pay attention to this. Blade Barrage is the best super to be using on the Hunter, so make sure to take advantage of that. You want to be using Gambler's Dodge, recharges your melee ability when you dodge and you're an enemy. We always want to make sure we have our melee available, so this is in our pocket, and this is going to help with our survivability. And we also want to be using Knife Trick. Throw a fan of flaming knives that scorch targets on hit. This is the three flaming knives that go out. We're using this because it applies a lot of scorch and extra stacks when we have the Ashes fragment equipped. And then it also feeds into our grenade energy the quickest and it's one of the easiest knives to land on the target. That's another big reason why we use it. Trip Mine Grenade is the grenade you want to be using. Of course, it sticks to surfaces, can explode when they walk past and trigger it, and it leaves scorching damage, and our exotic is going to enhance this. We're going to be using Knock Em Down as our aspect because Blade Barrage launches more projectiles, so we're taking advantage of that. And then while Radiant, final blows with your equipped throwing knife, fully refund your melee energy. We're always gonna be Radiant with this build and we're always gonna have Restoration up with this build. The next one is On Your Mark. We're using this mainly for the three fragment slots just so we can feed our abilities back that much quicker. We do get an instant three stack of this when we dodge. And it is nice to have this if you're using something like a rocket launcher or something that you need quicker handling with. So a nice little bonus and we're going to go over a couple rocket launchers you can pair with this build. For the fragments you want to be using Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. We're always using our melee so we're always going to be radiant. We're going to extend that radiant with Ember of Empyrean. Solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you. We're going to keep this up 24-7 because it's so easy to get a kill with Phantom Knives and so easy to get a kill with the Trip Mine Grenade. The next one is Ember of Beams. Now this one can be traded out with whatever you want. Next we have Ember of Ashes. You apply more Scorch stacks to targets. This is going to increase the Scorch stacks that the Knife Trick gives and Trip Mine Grenade which is going to cause the ignitions. And it also is going to make people burn longer. And then we have Ember of Singeing. Your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. So the, the more things are scorched, the longer they're scorched, the more it helps. So technically right here, Ember of Beams, you could also do Char. Your Solar Ignition spreads scorch to affected targets. Because when we land our melee and our grenade, that's an instant ignite. They're going to ignite right after you land the combo. That's what you saw right in the opening clip on the Ogre is, right? 
we threw our knives through our grenade through the grenade through the knives after you land two consecutive hits it's an ignite no matter what now for weapons with the build use whatever you want i do suggest something with incandescent you could also go with a rocket launcher in your heavy with demolitionist so that way when you're chaining your abilities back and forth you never have to reload and you could be firing off rocket launcher shots at people this does do some good dps i actually was using this in the gameplay the unforgiven with demolitionist very nice you hardly ever have to reload your weapon because you're throwing so many grenades for the armor let's go over the exotic first young ahamkara spine wish dragon teeth increased trip mine grenade duration and blast radius ability damage grants trip mine grenade energy so when you throw your trip mine and stick it to somebody and it kills them you're you're getting like 35 percent of your grenade back right away and then when we throw our knives this is granting us grenade energy as well that's what's cycling the grenades back so fast and then we're scorching things to get our dodge back we're dodging your enemies to get the knife back and we just keep rotating the loop over and over and as you can see in the gameplay it's so much fun to do for the other mods on the gauntlets focusing strike and bolstering de detonation is really nice grants class ability energy when you cause damage with your melee attack and also with the grenade that way we're just feeding back that class ability because the class ability means we just can dodge near something and we're dodging near something means we always have a melee no matter what and ember of singeing as you see in the gameplay we get our dodge back in like five seconds when the combo happens when you dodge throw the knife so you get the scorch with this you get the scorch off the grenade and then you get the bolstering detonation of focusing strike off of the melee and then we also have melee well maker in here so this is how we're going to spawn our well for the helmet, I have elemental ordnance on. You could change this out for something else if you wanted, but we're spawning another well off grenade kills. Harmonic siphon to create orbs from our solar weapons. Hands on to get bonus super energy. You wanna hit 100 mobility and 100 resilience if you possibly can. Those are the two stats I would be looking for. But don't give up a mod slot just to hit the stats because this is what I was using all day and it works perfectly fine. I only had 73 mobility on and I was not hurting getting my dodge back. For my chest piece, I was running high energy fire, so that well we pick up is going to charge us with light. Also a couple damage reduction mods here. On the boots, well of life just to add some more healing to the build, and eventually when classy restoration is gone, this is going to be one of our main ways to heal. And then a rocket launcher, a scav when we need to get some extra rocket launchers when I was using a rocket launcher. For the class item, elemental charge, so when we pick up that solar well we become charged with light. That's feeding higher energy fire. Uh, on the chest piece and higher energy fire does stack on radiance so we're getting easily a 50 percent damage buff there you could trade fauna might out right for one of these and when you pick up that solar well you're going to get even more damage for callus mini tool also on the class item we have classy restoration so every time we dodge we get that restoration times two right staple this season and then also double utility kickstart here so when we dodge that instantly gives us a good 30 35 percent of our dodge instantly so if you have any questions leave them down in the comments i'll try to answer them for them you guys you can also ask me over in the discord and i'll answer them there but that's basically the build and how it works you saw the gameplay loop in the beginning that's what you're going for it's grenade melee grenade dodge and just repeat the cycle you always have an ability available because one is always feeding into the other you always have your dodge it's just probably the all-around best build for the hunter i did this build right when the season came out right it was i think my first hunter build i did but we didn't have access to the extra fragments i also used a different aspect and i changed some things up to better suit how it's playing with solar 3.0 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful i'll see you guys all in the next one and have a great rest of your day